Right, we're going to stop here, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the heritage of power and propulsion in Cambridge. So, Sir Charles Parsons, who's a 25 kilowatts, and this powers the first electric lights in Cambridge. So, amazing. And still, 80% of them. And they were the first to have them. They were the first to have them, first Navy to have them. So that's, it's not just a power generation. Okay, Royal Highness, can I introduce Dr. Judith Farman, uh, uh, Dr. Tony Dickens, Dr. James Taylor, and Dr. Nick Atkins. And we're going to, to, to talk to them later, but first of all, we're going to tell you it's called a value stream analysis. We look at every process you do on the facility to assemble it and disassemble it and test it. And we managed to strip out about 95% or change of those processes. And that's got the time down by at least 100. It's having multiple small fans around the, the, uh, the back of the fuselage. And the advantage of doing this is that these can be smaller and lighter when they're distributed, and we think we can get a, a reduction in sort of CO2 emissions about 10% from this kind of configuration. And this is kind of in the nearer term. And that's running on standard aviation fuel. So this is the main engines are still on standard aviation fuel. Um, so hopefully you'll be able to hear me over the top of the tunnel. Not too long. <laughs> Okay, so where is the facility coming? So if you look at these two facilities, these yeah. two rigs, they've both got atmospheric inlets. So that means we can only test a small range of the conditions that we need. If we bring these facilities um, into the new national centre, we can bring them right up to the right conditions that we need. So that means that we can de-risk the ideas quicker, uh, get them into product and help to do So it's a much bigger space that we can test. Yeah, so we're going to, it's going to be built yeah, out the front here, the, Nash, the, the actual experimental team will be there, the manufacturing will be there, and the offices will be here. And what will be amazing is when you enter the West Cambridge,